Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create heat exchanger drip tray Revit family. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to Family Category and Parameter. Select Mechanical Equipment for Family Category and select Normal for Part Type. And click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 1950 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for length. Select Instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 675 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for width. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for frame thickness. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 70 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for depth. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 45 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for higher depth. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 35 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for lower depth. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to frame thickness. Go to create. Select the blend. Edit base profile. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit top profile. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the blend. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to stainless steel material. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the void extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the void extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 15 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. 
align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Back to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 160 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for front base plate offset. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 320 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for front base plate length. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 860 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for distance between base plate in length. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 400 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for back base plate length. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 270 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for distance between base plate in width. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 212 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for base plate width. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for base plate depth. Select instance and click OK. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle and set 15 mm radius. And move up to reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign extrusion end parameter to frame thickness. And assign the material parameter to material. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on pipe end. Select pipe connector and set 25 mm diameter. Select sanitary for system classification. And click apply. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Click on the material by category.
create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Search for stainless steel and replace it. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Let check how this family work in project. This is heat exchanger with drip tray in project. You can find and watch how to create this heat exchanger family in the channel. OK, heat exchanger drip tray family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.